Hello everyone, welcome to Database Systems week number four and this is the lecture video. What I want to do uh, in this lecture video is to cover four items here. Uh, basic overview of the database design process, a uh, little bit about the normalization uh, strategy, and then ERD tools, and then um, how to create a database using the uh, SQL Server Object Explorer. So let's take a look at each one of them. Um, this is week four and therefore we need to be thinking about how to design a database. Um, there are different ways of de uh, designing a database uh, and, and uh, different schools of thoughts would present it different ways, but I think this is a uh, a good way, uh, a simplified way for us to understand the general process. Uh, and it's the one that we'll be using for this course uh, when we design a database for this course. Often referred to as a database life cycle. Um, and the actual number of steps uh, is really uh, up to the designer or whoever is advocating. Uh, but there's usually a uh, the initial stage stage where uh, the organization or the committee needs to decide on what the purpose or the objective of this de database that they are trying to create uh, really is, uh, and what the requirements are in order for that to happen. Uh, so this portion is probably a very uh, arduous and maybe it takes the longest time. And then we, once we get this thing done, we need a list of tables. You don't have to have all of the tables, uh, like complete tables, but you need to have, uh, you know, uh, uh, most of them. And certainly what you think is uh, fairly complete, although people may end up uh, adding uh, more tables later. And then you need to decide on how those tables are related. And of course, we are assuming that we're using a relational database. And then you want to use some sort of a ERD tool. Uh, ERD stands for Entity Relationship Diagram in order to create the tables and then uh, establish the appropriate uh, relationships uh, among the tables. And one of the nice things about a nice, a decent ERD tool is it allows you to translate the uh, uh, diagram into a SQL script. So you export out of the ERD a, uh, at least a structural a script that you, you want to use. And then you want to test the script uh, online. Uh, maybe, you know, it's an installed program or whatever, but you want to test it. And when you want to test it, you're, um, you're going to be using both the SQL script that you exported out of the ERD, as well as you need to upload the data so that you can verify not only the syntax and the structure is sound, but uh, actual inserts, updates, and deletes, and what have you, uh, performs what you the way you want it to perform. And then finally, you know, since you are using a uh, some sort of a, a management tool uh, like SQL Server, uh, you want to put all of that stuff on that uh, management system, uh, both the the script and the data, right? And of course, the data uh, probably uh, will need to be converted from a legacy system if this is a new one. Uh, but you know that's something that needs to hap have happened. And then once you do that, and uh, you want to finally test, you know, all the different uh, major scenarios uh, and verify and have it approved by the uh, functional uh, owners, so that you can actually implement this in a testing environment and then on the production site, right? But so anyway, that's a little bit of a, a process and you know, this doesn't exactly match this one, but this is a good idea, uh, just a pictorial view. And normalization uh, is a strategy, an organizational strategy for a database. And, um, and there are definitely uh, different types of organizational strategy on how to, uh, you know, arrange and uh, structure your data. But uh, the normalization strategy is uh, 
the goal is to uh, avoid a duplication uh, of the data, redundancy, inconsistency, uh, or inconsistent updates, like when you want to update something because it is related to some other table, uh, you you know, having a good uh, normalization will uh, avoid that sort of things. And you want to be able to enforce this, that referential integrity that I, you know, began to talk about, the inconsistent updates, which is invariably related, related to this. And of course, normalization is intrinsic to a relational database uh, management system. Uh, some uh, database management system may not need a normalization. There are different levels of normal, normalizing your ta uh, database, and you can certainly look at the fine prints of that in the uh, textbook. Uh, although uh, the fact that I'm covering this and the uh, idea of normalization is almost always mentioned in the database class, and it is uh, generally preferred and assumed. But I like you to know that there is some cost or disadvantage of using a normalization, especially if you're, you know, uh, maxing out uh, a complete normalization. Uh, but you know, no, normalization uh, will in, will make uh, lots of tables rather than holding all of the data in one table. Uh, sort of like Excel sheet or whatever, you are separating them so that, um, and then making the data exist in only one place, and then you are trying to relate uh, those data with one another using the uh, relationships. Uh, and when you uh, are uh, updating, when you are querying, uh, creating a report and, and whatever, because there are so many tables and there are so many relationships, it, it uh, will invariably affect your performance. Um, also, uh, you know, SQL Server, as we are trying to use it as a transactional uh, database, um, if you are interested in data analysis like data warehousing, then a extreme normalization may not be suited for that. So uh, there are yes, other disadvantages, but uh, there, you know, I don't want you to think that normalization is uh, perfect and there is no uh, disadvantage. Some, uh, a quick mention about the ERD tools. ERD stands for Entity Relationship Diagram. And then as uh, this picture shows you here a little bit, it shows the tables and the lines uh, indicate how the tables are related. Um, we're not going to be doing this a lot uh, uh, today or this week, but uh, next week there will be an assignment on how showing how to do that. And you will be learning on how to do that uh, in the uh, the weeks to come and actually use it. Here is a two uh, website link that I provided for you, and um, uh, we'll take a quick look at it shortly. But basically, it allows you to create tables. Uh, you know, identify what the primary key is, and uh, that organizes that table, and what a foreign key is uh, that is related to another table, uh, that is a primary key in another table. And it allows you to assign table relationships. Um, uh, you know, the relation, there are many different types of relationships between the tables. Uh, one relationship could be a one-to-one -one relationship. Another would be a one-to-many or many-to-one and many-to-many -many and so on and so forth. Uh, so uh, you want to be using the uh, ERD uh, tools to make sure that you have the proper relationships. ERD tool does not figure things out for you automatically, which relationships you need to be using. Uh, that's something that you have to be figuring out, but at least you can draw a diagram to, to indicate what those relationship is. As I may have mentioned to you before, one of the best things that uh, a decent ERD tool, uh, such as a Lucid chart, uh, and there are a lot of tools out there, but it, it translates this diagram into a SQL script that you can use uh, to create your database. So let me uh, show you a little bit uh, how it looks like, and then we can wrap this up. So, <clears throat> so here's a Lucy chart uh, homepage, and you can certainly, uh, you know, browse through. But uh, it gives you a good uh, tutorial uh, and talks to you about what your diagram is, and then the history 
it may not be all that interesting, but uh, talks about you know different relationships here and how to you know create some of those. Uh, so you can you can look through that. But I already logged into uh, one of my uh, my free uh, Lucichar account, and this is there is a free account that you can create, and there's a paid account that you can create. But you know you can certainly use a free one to do everything that we need to be doing. And I created this uh, example, um, a uh, ERD diagram. You know, you can see that there is a, uh, there are tables here. There is a table names and PK for primary key in this uh, table here. So there is a, a key designation here. This is a, this is a list of uh, the column names, and this is the uh, what that column data uh, is is defined as. Uh, but anyway, um, so uh, you know, and you can. Uh, create those relationships here. Uh, let me see if I can bring it out a little bit. So here, this is the uh, the way you uh, create uh, relationships. But anyway, after you do all this, uh, one of the nice things that I mentioned to you is that you can uh, export all this, right? So you just uh, click on the export and you know, it gives you a nice a choice of which platform you're using. So if you're using SQL Server or MySQL, you can select whatever that is. And in this case here, and then you can see that all, all, all of that diagram here translated into a SQL script. Now, how wonderful is that, right? So that's huge. So you can uh, simply either grab and copy or whatever. Uh, used to work as an icon but maybe it's not working or whatever but anyway so you can just cut and copy and paste into whatever you want to do it right so you can take it over to uh, SQL fiddle or whatever you want to do and then you can test it out and lastly I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the SQL server uh, different parts and um, so let me bring that up for you so here's uh, my instance of the SQL server um, uh, and here's a list of the a sample database and you can just right click on one of these and I'm just going to right click on here to select 1000 rows and so here is the uh, object explorer view and let me uh, minimize this so you can see the whole thing here and um, here you can uh, this is the uh, query view and this you know it tells you right here this is a script for whatever you wanted to do and then down here is the result of this uh, a script, right? And you can see that this is the result, and you can make it you know bigger or smaller like that. But one of the easiest way that you can create a, ta a database is simply right click on the database here and say new database, right? And then it'll ask you some questions here. You can give it a database name. You can say test. Um, 10 or something like that. And then uh, look it over here and we'll talk more about some of the fine details of this. And then if you just click on yet, yeah, okay, it created a database for you right there, see? Isn't that amazing? So um, this is not the only way uh, and maybe not the official way to create a database, uh, but this certainly is a one quick and easy way, right? So you can click on here and, and of course if you click on the table, uh, there is no actual tables that you can use. I mean, there's some system tables, but you, you don't want to be missing like, messing up like that. So you will need to create a ta table here. But what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, you can create a database on the fly s simply by right-clicking on the database here under uh, the in SQL Server instance in the ob Object uh, Explorer view. So hopefully that, you know, uh, um, you can create and uh, click on a new query and then start a new one and things like that. So you want to get to know how to navigate uh, some of this. So in closing, uh, just just wrap it up here. Uh, I talked to you a little bit about the designing process, uh, normalization, and some ERD tools, uh, and the Object Explorer view, particularly on how to uh, create a database. Uh, hopefully that uh, gave you a good introduction for this uh, uh, week. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll be happy to respond. Uh, take care. Bye for now.